After the horrific attacks in the last two weeks, after 11 Israelis have been murdered in the last uh, two and a half weeks, what is what has Israel done? Now, obviously, they're tightening down uh, security. They're trying to put down the violence and stop terrorism that's happening. But another thing they did is they said, we're going to retroactively legalize or authorize nine settlements, Jewish communities in Judea and Samaria. Um, and maybe this is as a response to this wave of terror. Maybe this is their way of saying, Terror does not scare us. You don't intimidate me at all. What? And we will never uh, give in to terrorism. And so we're going to push forward um, Jewish settlement in Judea and Samaria. Now, we're talking about nine, pu nine Jewish communities that have been, been around for years. Some of them have been around for decades. Um, I know where some of these are. Um, and it's basically, it's just like a legal, it, it's a, it's a, it's not even like, Nothing is actually actively going to change on the ground. It's just the government is putting their stamp of approval on a Jewish community, right? Um, and what is the U.S.'s response? The U.S. doesn't have, they don't, re, they don't respond with an official statement of condemning Palestinian terrorism and violence um, or standing with Israel um, with the, the, the Israeli security officer that was killed yesterday. Nope, they put out an official statement. Anthony Blinken, um, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, puts out an official statement and he says, quote, we are deeply troubled by Israel's decision yesterday to advance reportedly nearly 10,000 settlement units and to begin a process to retroactively legalize nine outposts in the West Bank that were previously illegal under Israeli law. Now, that's another thing. Betzalel Smotrich is... Um, Working on a plan to to put forward the uh, put put forward a plan to build ten thousand new units in Judea and Samaria. So that's what he's talking about there. But then he's talking about nine outposts. They're not outposts. These are towns. These are Jewish towns in Judea and Samaria. Some of which have been around for decades. And uh, he says they're previously illegal under Israeli law. Now, how would you how like if you're an American citizen and a foreign country put out an official statement and says. We are worried about that, uh, an American decision to put their stamp of approval on a small town in the Midwest. Who cares what the U.S. wants to do with a town in the Midwest or, or anything? That's your own business, right? The Israeli government is saying we're now going to retroactively approve nine uh, communities in Judea and Samaria. And the American administration comes out and says we are deeply what does he say? Deeply troubled by your decision to do this. I'm more concerned about you. Um, he goes on to say, quote, like previous administrations, Democrat and Republican, we strongly oppose such unilateral, unilateral measures which exacerbate tensions and undermine the prospects for a negotiated two-state solution. So no words about uh, condemning terrorism. No words about how the Palestinians should just stop trying to kill Jews. But... A lengthy statements. Let's read a little bit more. Quote, as I previously stated, anything that takes us away from the vision of two states for two people is detrimental to Israel's long term security, its identity as a Jewish and democratic state and to our vision of equal measures of security, freedom, prosperity and dignity for Israelis and Palestinians alike. We call on all parties to avoid additional actions that can further escalate tensions in the region and to take practical steps that can, that can improve the well-being of the Palestinian people. Again, 11 Israelis are murdered in the land of Israel, and this, the, the only response that the U.S. Secretary of State can, can put out is an official statement about how we need, to, uh, we need to have all this freedom, dignity, prosperity for Israelis and Palestinians alike. We don't care that it's just the Palestinians that are trying to kill Jews. Nope. All we care about is the, the vision for a two-state solution. Who cares if that two-state solution would involve the Palestinians basically murder, uh, shooting rockets into Israel and trying to murder more and more Jews, and it would be absolute suicide for the state of Israel. Nope, that's all we care about. Two-state solution. He calls it detrimental. Words like vision of equal measures of security, freedom, blah, blah, blah. Mr. Secretary of State. 11 Israeli Jews were murdered by Palestinian extremists in the last two weeks. And all you can talk about is the fact that the Israeli government is going to retroactively approve Jewish communities in Judea and Samaria. It's completely insensitive, unfeeling, and detached from reality of what is happening here on the ground. Guys, if you're a U.S. citizen... 
you should be outraged. You should be asking two questions. One, how much Jewish blood is enough for the world to actually approve of Jews living in any part of the state of Israel? And no, it's not just about Jews living in Judea and Samaria or East Jerusalem or West Jerusalem. It's about Jews having the right to live and to thrive in any part of the land of Israel. How much Jewish blood is enough? That should be question number one. Question number two, why is the U.S. sending millions, even hundreds of millions of dollars to the Palestinians when they're spending billions paying murderers and terrorists and their families um, every single year? If you're a U.S. citizen, Call your state representatives and tell them you're not okay with U.S. tax dollars going to support the murderous Palestinian Authority regime and tell them it's against U.S. law. Cite the Taylor Force Act passed in 2018. Tell them you stand with Israel and you want to see your government more strongly supporting Israel. Guys, if you want to put your boots on the ground, don't forget to check out our upcoming volunteer program. It's this April. We're planting trees and we need your help. You can put your actual fingers and uh, feet in the soil of Israel's heartland. To find out more, go to serveisrael.com. Make sure you subscribe on whatever platform you're watching or listening. If we're going to catch Al Jazeera, we need you to subscribe here on YouTube. Um, as always, tune out the fake news and tune into what is actually happening here in the land of Israel. We're here every Monday through Friday with your direct connection to the land and people of Israel.